back to Hawk Talk. As you can see, we're joined by Coach and, and some hardware. Coach, tell us about this hardware. Yeah, we had a great weekend this past weekend. Uh, we competed in the uh, 2015 North Star Athletic Association uh, Cross Country Championships, which was down in Madison, South Dakota. Uh, Dakota State University hosted that meet this year and um, obviously came away as uh, men's and women's team champions on uh, both sides of the board, so we swept the meet there. and. Uh, um, First uh, conference title for our women's program and first for our men since 2011. So great weekend, everybody ran well, and uh, we've advanced to the national championship meet now. So now you made it pretty clear from the start that that your goal was to to capture these titles. So how how did you kind of eliminate that pressure pre-race to make sure you know people were able to perform to their best? Yeah, you know we um, you know we sat down the night before and everybody kind of. You know, we were all in the same room, the men's and women's team, we kind of talked about our season and what we are wanting to do. And, uh, you know, everybody's been running well all this year. You know, we've competed against uh, everybody in our conference except for Viterbo and Wal Waldorf. So, and we, you know, we had an idea of what they were capable of uh, by looking at, you know, some results throughout the year. But, um, so, you know, we had an idea based off of uh, previous competitions here throughout the year and kind of where we stacked up against each other. So, really, you know, it came down to... Just running the best race that we could, and you know everybody, you know having somewhat of a good day. We had a couple girls that didn't run as well as I'd liked, but um, you know overall, it, you know we still were able to accomplish what we wanted as a team. So, um, and you know, and same for the guys' side. Everybody ran fairly well. So you know things were a little slower because the course was, um, you know, wasn't a flat course. There was quite a bit of uh, hills and you know some steep climbs to it. So that slowed times down quite a bit. Um, you know on both sides, but um, you know it's. Conference meets about uh, running head to head and beating you know beating your competition whether you're um, winning in 30 minutes or whether you're winning in 25 minutes so um, you know that's you know how we came out on top so so with that goal being accomplished that obviously gives you guys one more opportunity on both yeah. sides to go race uh, talk about what your thoughts are heading into North Carolina yeah you know we're excited obviously it's the first time ever for the women so you know I think uh, kind of the goal for them going into this meet is to go down there and get experience you know off the bat so you know as we build a program here and. Um, get more people to the team and add some depth. Um, you know, obviously this experience this year for our for our uh, girls, which is all mainly up underclassmen. You know, we only graduate two seniors, so um, you know they're going to get good experience and be able to bring that back and uh, obviously use that here throughout the rest of the year through track and then next summer as they train and um, kind of lead. You know, then the new uh, new recruits coming in next fall. So the women's side, obviously, we'll go down there to get good experience. You know, obviously we don't want to be the last team down there so <laughs> um, you know we'll go down there and uh, you know I, I, I feel we're a top 30 team on the women's side you know we put it all together on the same day so you know there'll be 36 teams that'll win down there on the women's or that'll run that day on the women's program so you know if we can beat six schools or seven or eight or even ten while we're down there you know on the women's side I think that'll be a, a great accomplishment for us you know for the first time ever competing as a women's program and uh, the men's side you know I'm, I'm very optimistic I know what we can do on paper you know if you look at everybody's uh, PRs on the men's side and kind of put that all together, you know, if we can do that all in the same race, you know, I think we're, you know, right around a top 20, top 21 team, you know, at Nationals, if we can do it all on the same day. It may be even better, you know, if some other programs have some off days and, you you know, everybody on our side really comes comes together and has the best race of the season. So, um, you know, for the men's side, we, you know, we're, we're going to get down there and really try to compete and see how well we can do because, you know, I know that, you know, what we're capable of and whatnot. So, um, you know, and it should be exciting to see you know how we stack up against the rest of the country because you know all fall we've been we've been receiving votes in the in the polls, but we've been anywhere from 30th place to about 35th place. You know, as a as a team ranking throughout the fall. So, and I know we're better than a 30th place team, so we should you know be able to go down there and you know at least exceed that from what we've been ranked this um, this year. So, you know, that's kind of the goals. You know, obviously, if the kids go down there and they set personal records for the season, you know, that's obviously going to be really move us up as a team obviously if we have five guys or you know six or seven doing that on the same day so you know it's you know we'll get down there have some fun you know obviously um compete and you know see kind of how things stack up at the end of the day because you know you're you know like i said 36 teams and you know the field is going to have probably about 350 360 or 70 kids in it so you know there's going to be some um you know some strategy there the kids will have to understand you know how to get out and not get you know way back to you know you can't get out and then be the last you know the last, you know two other place in the race from the start because there's, there's going to be a lot of people to maneuver around sure. so you know there'll be some challenges there with you know getting throughout the race and you know working their way up and things like that so you know great experience you know um you know i don't have anything but praise for our kids they worked hard this fall and you know, obviously got to this point, it's not easy to get to the national meet, so, you know, just to get there is, a, is an accomplishment in itself, so. Nothing but praise for you as well, both captured both Coach of the Year titles, don't have those here, a little too modest to put those up, I guess, but uh, 
touch on what that means, you know, starting as a last year, as first year of the program, this into your full time role now, two yeah. two different coach of the year awards. Just yeah, you know, when I when I uh, took over, I guess so to speak, as an interim coach two years ago, you know, that was one of my goals was um, to be able to book you know sixteen tickets to the national meet here in two years. So you know, I've, I've accomplished that. You know, it's it has been a lot of time and energy and hard work. You know, I guess my family's with withstood a lot of time that I've been out, you know, away from home and on recruiting trips and you know on the phone calls and things like that at night when I'm you know talking to kids and trying to get kids in here. So. Um, yeah, I, it, you know, to an extent, it's a test to, to, to my hard work, but you know, it, it does boil down to what the kids are doing sure. on, the, on the course, and you know, for them training hard, and you know, listening to what their coaches have them to do, and things like that. So, you know, all around, obviously, we've all been uh, been recognized in our own way here, and uh, you know, it's uh, been a good season. So, all right, well, congratulations. Thank good you. Good luck next week. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. Back now with two of the two of the male runners who made it happen this last weekend. You guys want to introduce yourselves? Uh, yeah, I'm Tristan Gio from Montana. I'm a freshman. Uh, my name is Jonathan Amon. I'm a junior here in uh, Texas, North Dakota, from Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, guys, take us through this this season, mainly this last weekend um, when you guys put it together and won the conference. Uh, for us, for me, I came here as a freshman, not knowing what the sport was going to be like get here, have a great team, like just right off the bat we had a great team chemistry, we started hanging out, doing things together as a team, and then the races, they just started coming together, uh, we started scoring good as a team, and then last weekend we all knew what the goal was, and we all just worked as a team to accomplish that goal. Yeah, truly like Tristan said, um, just our team chemistry this year from um, running on a lot of the other teams in the past years, it wasn't the same compared to this year. I felt like everybody had a main goal and we were all pushing each other and it wasn't a generic force that was everyone just running together. It was truly all of us in a bond saying that we want to accomplish this goal of going to nationals and no matter the case may be, whoever we're running against, we wanted to get to where we wanted to be and we accomplished our goal and we're very thankful for that happening. Now, obviously as a freshman getting to go to nationals, it's a pretty special opportunity. What are, you, what are you looking to do once you get down there? I don't know what to expect. I'm just excited for the opportunity. Just get down there to see what the experience is like. Because from high school, I mean, you got the state meet sure. and nationals. That's like a whole other <laughs> level. It's a whole different ballpark. So I'm excited to see what it's like. Now you've obviously experienced ending a season not at the national tournament, so right. probably um, cherish that a little more. Yeah, it is really nice. The last time I went to nationals was an outdoor my freshman year, and uh, it was a great experience, but now going back to nationals, first time in cross country. Um, the first thing I think is when we go out to North Carolina, it's not a vacation. We need to definitely get down to work. You know, us winning conference isn't any big deal to the guys team. We wanted to do that. That wasn't our goal. Our goal is to go to national and compete well and to show ourselves and prove ourselves who we really are. And, you know, even we tell Tristan or other freshmen, we tell them that it isn't just to win conference. We want to go to the national meet and score well and do well there because in the end, that's what everybody looks at. It doesn't matter the whole season. They say what happened in the end. Sure. So. You guys have both touched on how important it has been to be a team, um, and that extends beyond running. So just just t touch on that that aspect of it, and what's that that's done for you both in meets and just in, as a general college student. Well, coming from a small town, I mean, it was just basically me running on my own. I didn't have a team, so I was just running for my myself. And then here, like for the races. It wasn't about me, it was about the team, it was about how the team would do as a whole. Like, Because, I mean, we had the guys who I was pretty sure were going to make it to Nationals, but every one of us wanted to make, have the whole team go. So, I don't know, I feel like we're all really close and it's not about just one person, it's about the team in general. So. Yeah, I feel like on this team there's just a bunch of components that all make up who we really are and it's beyond more than the sport, honestly. I mean, I've hung out with my teammates too many times, you know, sometimes outside of classes and outside of school, and I think that's what brought us closer together, whether it be in each other's dorm rooms or we go out to places, we just built each other's characters up even more, and like I said, it's a component of each other that we really built on, and it's really a beautiful thing because in the past years, it seemed really generic where the top people would hang out with top people, and maybe the lesser would hang out with lesser sometimes, or in intermingled, but I felt like it was a good combo this year, and it worked really well for each other, so... 
How did you end up in Dickinson from, from Vegas? <laughs> um, I had a friend that used to run here, and he was doing really well. Um, his name was Dante Carter, and uh, he gave me advice to come down here and come see how the school was. And uh, immediately, through the coaching and the, a lot of the staff here and people that were already here running, um, it kind of grabbed me, and I wanted to stay here. So um, it's been a great three years so far. I really liked it, the small town feel. Um, being from Las Vegas and bad, I'm really in a hustle and bustle. <laughs> So um, it's just really nice to be around more of a community feel. You know, like I said, my teammates are almost like my brothers now. And I didn't have that feel in Vegas. And it's not being um, cocky by any means, but you could have 100 friends or even more than 100 friends in Vegas. But you would never say they had your back or necessarily be brothers. Sure. Here I felt like I had a brotherly love. And it was a really beautiful thing that I didn't see in a long time. All right, finally, guys, your coach coach got Coach of the Year recognition. Um, obviously, that... that shows what you guys do, you know, it helps to be at the top to get one of those awards, but just talk about what Co Coach Troyer has, has done for you guys and how happy you were to see him get the, the, those awards this weekend. Uh, I was really happy to see him get the awards. Uh, we train hard, he pushes us, like he has a schedule and usually we have two workouts a week and then mileage the other days and then a long run. And then he like, for me, like in high school, I didn't recover smart, like Every day was just hard as I could, as far as I could. And coming here, it was like uh, the easy days, which were just mileage, and recovery days, like he really stressed how important they were. And I don't know, he's probably one of the best coaches I've ever had coming into college and out of high school. So it was a good feeling to see him get both of those awards. Yeah, when he got both awards, I was extremely happy because I don't know, when me and my teammates, when we see our coach every day going through what he needs to go through to get us to where we want to be, um, it's just he gives so much time for us, and we all know he has a family, and sometimes I feel guilty that I see my coach way too much. He's like around us all the time, and I know he, he sacrifices a lot for us, so I'm very thankful that we have Coach Shore, um, whether it be, you know, helping us fundraise money, whether it be always setting up our workout plans or getting us to do what we need to do in the class, you know, because it's not only an athlete thing, it's about an in-class, you know, type of aspect, and he really pushes that into us and distills that into us, and it's, it's really good to have somebody like that in your life to always be around, because, you know, we're in college, we don't have our parents here, so the closest um, guardian aspect or adult aspect we have is our coach, and he really is close-knit with us, and again, I'm very thankful for having him. Alrighty guys, congratulations on this Thank season you. so far. Finish strong. Thank you so much. Thank you. Get ready for an awesome flip touchdown. Dickinson State running back Trey Boom gets the ball, runs toward the end zone, and flips over two defenders to score the touchdown. Look at it again. He basically flips four yards and nails the landing. Dickinson State won the North Star Bowl 49-30 thanks to Trey's 186 yards and two touchdowns. But this play was definitely the highlight of the game. All right, we're back on Hawk Talk one final time with, with Coach Hartman. Coach, take us through uh, the last home games since we've talked, which were the final home games of the year, um, and then the little conference tournament run. Uh, well, on Friday we played Dakota State. Um, they were third in our conference. We took them to four sets, which was really good, and definitely competed harder than the first time that we played them, so we saw it as a positive. Um, then the next night we came back, played presentation, and ended up winning in four. So that was a really nice victory, nice way to end the home matches. Sure. Um, and the team obviously competed really hard, did a really good job. Then we went on, play, ended up playing the presentation again yes. uh, the following week, just, just the other day. Mm -hmm didn't end up on the right side of that one. No, it, it's really hard to play a team back to back like that. Sure. And obviously uh, they really wanted it and they really wanted to win and as we did too, but in that fifth set, their crowd got going. Uh, it was point for point and and we ended up losing 13 to 15, so that was really heartbreaking. But at the same time, it's a really good motivation for next year to come back and say we're never going to lose 13 to 15 again. Sure. 
Now we talked about, last time we talked how it wasn't a senior night the last day because we don't have any seniors on the team. Um, so just, just kind of talk about the young team from, from start to finish this year, uh, how they improved, what you feel going into the next year. Oh, we're pretty confident um, going into the next year with this young team. Uh, they will just keep getting better and better. Uh, we're going to try to bring in a couple hitters in different areas and a couple DSs, but overall, the maturity of this team really shown through in these last couple games and just their hard work and dedication to the program. Uh, they did an excellent job this whole season. Now, what does the off season look like for the volleyball program? You know, we have open gym for basketball, <laughs> different sort of workouts. What, what's it like for volleyball? Uh, kind of the same thing. We'll do some open gym type of deals. Uh, we will bring in and do the acceleration program, weightlifting, and then individual work, one-on-one, -on -one really helps a lot, especially with, again, with these young athletes. Sure. Now, does high school or junior college route, is that where you're kind of a little bit of both? Is that where yeah. you focus your attention recruiting-wise? Definitely both. Uh, you can't just go full junior college because then you won't have any to build sure. upon. And so <laughs> we definitely want to bring in a couple of both. All right, any last thoughts from, from a crazy group of girls this season? <laughs> One final memory? Uh, no, I don't think I have any. <laughs> well, they're not going anywhere. So That's true. <laughs> so I'm sure we'll that. make more. <laughs> All right, well, unless we hear from you during track, <laughs> it's been fun. Thank you. Thank you.